Hey everyone, welcome back to Code of the Row. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a portal where you can enter into a portal and pretty much teleport to any actor on the map, including another portal. And let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is go over to my content browser, right click, select blue blueprint class and click actor. And I'll call this something like under VP underscore portal, double click into it to open the blueprint actor. And now what I'm going to do is add a static mesh and I'll call this something like portal frame. And then I'll add a box collision and I'll call this portal trigger. And for the purpose of this tutorial, I'll be using this portals VFX pack. Um, it was a free asset of the month. You might have this if you, if you've been using unreal engine for a while. So now for my portal, I'll just unparent this. And for my portal frame, I'll just select something like a portal. So I'll just do one of these columns. I'll make it a bit smaller and I'll increase the size of my portal trigger. So I'll compile and save. And now all I want to do is go to my event graph. I'll erase all of these, click portal trigger, scroll down to event and select on component begin overlap. And all I'm going to do is cast this to my third person character. And for other actor, I'll just connect this to the object node. And then I just want to check if this is valid like so. And now we need to add a destination and the destination will do another actor. So under variables, I'm just going to hit this check sign and check, um, and type in actor destination for the variable name. And then under this, I'll hit Boolean just to change it and I'll select actor. And now when I click actor, I'm going to do an object reference. And also I want to make sure that when I click on this, this is an instance editable. And this is so that I can edit it while it's in my, my world map. So I'll hit compile and save. I'll just drag this out and I'll get the actor destination. And I'll put this as the input object. And this is pretty much just going to check that if the actor destination is valid. And if you can teleport to it, or if it is valid, then you can set the actor location and teleport it. So in order for us to be able to be the ones teleporting, we'll, ta we'll connect this as BP third person character to the target. And for new location, we'll get actor location. And we just want to connect our actor destination to get actor location so that it's telling our BP third person character, our target, where to go and where the new location is by getting the actor location and setting it to the actor destination. And now when I go over to my third person map, I just drag this BP portal in and you will see that in, since we made it instance, since we made actor destination instance editable, when I click on this, and hit all, you'll see that I have an actor destination variable now, and I can select this, whatever is in this outline over here. So I'll do something. I'll just click this eyedropper tool and select something like this cube so that when I touch this portal, it'll go into this cube. And now when I hit play, I can just walk through this trigger or walk through the BP or portal. And now I'm back at the cube. And if I do it again, I'm back at the cube. And that's a really simple portal and you can even make another actor just to go back and forth if you wanted, for example, two portals and so on. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching Code of the Row. Like, subscribe, comment below what you want to see next and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.